Welcome. Please, do enter. It's alright. You're safe here. Please, don't be nervous. We are here to make you feel better. We can fix you. Tell me about yourself, won't you? Keep talking. You'll reach your new home in due time. Talk to me about all your problems. Ramble on to your heart's content. Trust me, no matter how traumatic your mind state is in, we can and will be able to help you. After all, that's why you came here, isn't it? You're here because you want to get better, right? Oh dear, you've had such a harsh life. It isn't a surprise to me why you are in this state. No family, no friends, nobody at all. Oh, poor child. Your weak mind has been poisoned with loneliness. It saddens me to think of a damaged mind such as yours. The cogs that once allowed you to function and think clearly are now coated with rust and are also broken. They grind together harshly and burn the fragments of your brain. Those troublesome memories of yours are the only ones that haven't been lost. All the happiness, love, and hope have gone. Your very sanity has melted gradually away. Your joyful memories lost in the droplets that escaped from your brain. I am an expert when it comes to the disposition of the human brain. Like many of my clients, I have encountered many troubled and lost souls like you. However, there is no need to worry. As I have already told you, the reason why you are here is because you want to be fixed. We will fix you. Shall we continue on? Your new home awaits you. Please, don't be alarmed by this procedure. It's merely to help you relax. Lie down. Now. Don't struggle. These straps are only here to secure you to the stretcher. We wouldn't want you to fall off, now would we? Hush, don't cry. It only hurts because you are panicking. You're letting your mind think too deeply about the situation. You are hallucinating nightmares. That's why you are fidgeting so much. Don't struggle. Remain calm. Here. This will help. You'll feel a slight nip in your arm, but don't worry, it won't hurt too badly. Now, you are feeling sleepy. That's good. Allow your consciousness to fade away. Close those tearful eyes and dream of the sweet release from your madness. Dream about when you are finally feeling better. Silence! Stop your screaming, all of you. Don't you want our help? Well, don't you? Then stop your screaming. I don't even know why you try calling out for someone. Nobody can hear you. There are no windows, and the building itself is far away from civilization. It's a good thing, too. Nobody would want to hear the painful noise you lunatics create. Stop that! Hurting yourself won't make any things better. The time will come soon. It won't be long now. At around 2 a.m. on December 3rd, the time finally arrived for you. Hush. Don't speak or scream. You don't need to do those things anymore. It is time. Stay here and be patient. I'll be back with medical equipment. I'll relieve you of your broken mind. Those poisoned memories shall vanish, and you will be free. It will be painful, of course, but it is the best way. Trust me, 
I will fix you. I can make this quick, or I can make this slow. It is your choice. However, if you continue to struggle, you won't get any say on how you want your madness to end. This is the best way, I promise you. I promised you from the very day you arrived here. I said that I would fix you. That is what I'm here to do. It is your turn. You've been waiting for a long time, but there are plenty of others just like you. Here, individuals like you, locked away in their own little homes, each person surrounded by their own four white walls. These walls comfort you and keep you safe. They mute your cries from entering a civilization that is pure and functional. These walls are your home, and now they are your grave. So ramble your final silly prayers and take a deep breath. I'll see you soon someday, but for now, let us part. I just have one last thing to say to you. Goodbye.